All right. Let's introduce Project 131, A Dangerous Situation. So, class, get this out because we can fill this in together. I'm going to get you started on actually do this part because for the rest of class, I'm going to let you like, okay, for this one, where is it? Uh, oh, you have to see him in first period. So today is just kind of like a planning day. The The next day I'm going to post the real assignment, like the full assignment where you just have to actually do stuff. That's this part two incident response report and we'll reflect later. This is going to be a five days in distance learning. So starting today should be plenty of time. So here's what I want you to do. I'm not doing that self reflection not self-assessment yet. You're going to have a team. You can use the same teams as last project. You can do different teams. Uh, same three as I said last time. All right. Um, yeah, whatever you want to do. There's a rubric. Don't worry about this rubric right now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pull it up. I'm kind of curious. Maybe I check this out later. Your team will, is going to create an incident response report. On a prod. Let's look at the problem first. So let's go back. Oh, yes, yeah, someone's here. You talking? Oh, I have an unmuter. I'm going to mute you. Okay. So let's look at this cyber case right here. In this cyber case, what just happened? Okay. The hacked computer. You're in your high school cafeteria. Imagine you're in, you're at the cafeteria. Back in the day, you used to be in there. You're in, that, in there one morning, right? You're getting your breakfast and getting that morning breakfast. What, what do you get for breakfast? You get a pear, one of those rock hard pears. You get like, like that, that packet of like that, that um, brand muffin thing sometimes, maybe. Maybe a bowl of cereal. Let's say you get the bowl of cereal and then you get a pear. You go to meet with your friends in the cafeteria. You're going to go play. This was back in the day. Maybe you're going to go play Fortnite on your phones. Because Among Us wasn't a thing yet. You decide to go, to go get something to drink. You get up. You want to go to the ice machine. Go get some ice to chew on. You also want to go to the share table. You're like, I want to get another one of those pears. Those were so good. So you go to the share table. And you come back. You figure, hey, I'll just walk away from my computer. What's the worst that's going to happen? You go get your stuff. You come back to your table, you see your friends are there. Like, all right, where are we dropping, boys? And you chat with them for a bit. You close your laptop, you go to class. Next time you're going to class, what class are you in? You're in your um, basket weaving class. Thank you. And then you open up your laptop, and this is what you see. Foo one. And you're like, what's that? Look at this file. You're like, what's this file? I didn't put it there. What's going on? Who messed with my computer? So that's what this case is about. It starts with that file. And you need, what we're going to do is we're going to investigate things to see what else happened to your computer is it just that file is there something else running on your computer are there more files attached to it how do you determine which files are attached to it how do you determine who put this on your computer and and that's what this is about you're going to apply the skills we've learned in this unit one some of those skills to figure out what's going on and how do you fix your computer and how do you prevent it from happening again that's the key thing. And it all starts with this file, foo1. All right? So, that's the case. Let's talk about what you're doing. So, you found your teams. Now, we're going to do this first part together. We have this thing called the cybersecurity life cycle. It's a circle. And the idea is you have to identify your assets, which are like your computer and any data you have, maybe, or your assets all your physical computer internet connected devices. You want to protect those assets with like security features. Now, 
security features don't always get everything. Sometimes you detect things, bad things coming in and things happen to your computer. Well, when those things happen, you need to respond with a plan, come up with a plan, and then you need to recover following your steps from that plan. You need to recover from the problem and return to normal op operations. And this is a cycle. So then you identify your assets and you, you've now protected them better. But cybersecurity is, is an evolving process. It's not something that just ends, like I'm secure, I'm done. Sometimes that new problems always pop up. That's why these jobs are pretty secure. You can get cybersecurity jobs anywhere because now, oh, I updated my computer, I'm done. No, new stuff comes out all the time. So you got to protect yourself and you got to keep updating things. All right. It's an ongoing job. Stay vigilant. All right. So for this assignment, I'm going to get you started on where to look. And we're going to do it by answering these questions. Now, this is, this is here. So everyone watching at home, you can kind of work along with me and submit. So who's on your team? I'm going to say Mr. Brophy's on my team. Who else can join my team? Um, I don't know. Um, oh, Red Crewmate. Good. Also, John Smith of John Smith Subs. Because he's bringing food. Thank you. Now, we follow this. Now, let's answer these questions to detect right here. I'm actually going to copy these questions in this box. So we're going to answer some basic questions or I'm going to maybe not answer them, but tell you how to look when and by which user did a suspicious file get to your desktop. So the first question, we got to investigate this file. When did it get there and who put it there? All right. So how do you figure out? when a file was created and you might be like i don't know now there's two ways if you hover over this like i'm doing the basics for you guys it's spoilers sorry everyone at home or if there's a teacher that doesn't want the spoilers i'm only going to spoil this if you hover over you can see the date created right there 3 7 2018 you can also go into properties. March 7th, 2018 was when, now, yes, that's when it was created. Okay. So let's add this to here. When was it created? Say March 7th, 2018. This is going to be important information. Now, Which user created this file? Now, I want to show you this part. How do you do this? Now, I thought I was getting stuck. I thought there was like, oh, a location. There's a location. There's nothing in here that tells me, or I don't remember. How do you figure out who created something? Who, who is not the created something? Which user? put this on here. One thing you want to ask is who owns the file. So owner is. So you want to figure out the owner. Now, the way you do owners is you might have forgot this. And this was in file management. This was actually in the process one, two, two in file management. So I actually did a search for file owner and I was like, oh, that's in one, two, two. So what's great in, in the lessons, if you like, you have some keywords, you just use the search feature and then you're like every lesson that uses it, but, oh, it's probably here. So, and then I can use find, look for owner, file ownership. How do you figure out owners? You got to open up the file explorer and then right click the top, add a column that says owner. So I'm just going to show you, let's say I was in the desktop. Oh, I, I did this already. Let's say, oh, 
You don't see anything. I don't know. You right click. You got a more. And you can go down to owner. This is what we learned in an old lesson. Now, the owner of this one is administrator. That's okay. That's legit. But, okay. The owner of that one's legit. That's kind of us. We're logged in as administrator. Okay. But okay, we're just going to answer that one for now. Now, I'm going to ask this. Could there be other potentially malicious data on your computer? Yes, there could be. How do you find it? Now, one hint to find this is, you know, this file was created on a certain date. Are there other files also created that same date? How do you search for them? I'm going to leave that up to you. We did that in a previous lesson. I think we did it in like the... There's search functions. Check the date. There might be other files out there. And then check the date. And if there's, there are other files, check their owners. Check the owners of those files. And that, there's my hint to get you started. So make sure you do that. Now, what applications or other services could be used to get these files there? So things that we've learned is you, you could have used, how do, how do you get, how do bad files get downloaded on a computer? Uh, maybe through like uh, the web browser. You, someone clicked a bad link or emails. Uh, one of the services that moves files we learned was FTP, File Transfer Protocol. So these are kind of like keywords that you can check out. So maybe like look for things. I'm gonna, I'm just telling you some keywords to look for. So those could have brought in files. Are there files missing on a computer? I don't know. Maybe. So that might be something you look for. Maybe you look for some missing files. Where would those missing files be if they were deleted? Right? And that was part of the last activity too. Now, let's go to respond. What actions should you take to resolve the security threats? Now, this is, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what to do. It's kind of like a high level thing. What do you have to do? Delete. Bad files. And you want to stop bad processes. So when you find the things, you got to delete the bad files. And you get, if it's running some processes, if you remember that stuff, the process manager, task manager, you got to stop those bad processes or services. It might be services. I don't know. Could be both. That's what you want to do. Delete it. That solves your immediate problems. How do you recover missing data? All right. I, I hate this in Project Lead the Way. The solution for the last one was to like, oh, take it out of the trash can, right? But is if someone messes your computer, are they going to like throw things away in the trash can? They're probably going to permanently delete things. I don't think it's going to be in the, end up in the trash can. And the way you stop a permanent deletion, you have to like go back to recover from an old backup of your computer. I don't know. But for the purpose of this, you can check the trash can or the recyclables. Yeah, you can go recover from a backup. I mean, that's what we'd really do. But like, I don't think we talked about, like, okay, you pointed this out. Like, I don't think we talked about doing backups. I don't think they did any backups on th these lessons. Maybe they did, but we never actually recovered from a backup. Probably hard to do in the simulation. But you know, that's a good thing to write down. Uh, identify the assets. Your asset is your computer and data. Just that's what it's supposed to be. That's a stupid question right there. It's not really a question. 
What are the security measures you should take to secure your computer? Okay, how do you make sure this doesn't happen again? And I'm going to leave that one up to you. Use what you've learned in these lessons to think about this. Use other stuff that you know. You are allowed to, you know, other things that you, you know to lock down a computer. You can think outside the box. I will let you, I, I really want to see what you would say at this point for this one. I mean, this one is a, that's what you're doing. What do you know from what you've learned here or what do you just know to do? Or what can you look up? I mean, you do your research on your own and you find some answers like what you would do to lock down this computer that are from outside of this course. That is fine with me. I, I, I'm curious what you would say. Because, okay, so now when you write these down and you submit here, we will have the part two of this. You'll be filling out this incident response report. And in your groups, one person per group needs to submit. Okay, it's kind of like the last thing where we had problem solutions, but it's different, right? So what was detected in the security threat? Uh, what actions did you take to protect it? And then, or recover your data if you had to recover lost data. Whatever's in the trash can. Um, identify what to protect. I guess that would just be the computer. And then, what do you do to protect from future threats? So, this incident report, this is kind of like following that cybersecurity lifestyle or life cycle. Lifestyle. Life cycle. And you're kind of just documenting what you found. So for today, I you know, write some of the stuff I put down here. Um, give me your answer, at least for now, for this. This is kind of like brainstorming right now. And then tomorrow I'll post the other part and, you know, we'll you know, have like four days, plenty of time to get this done. Probably won't even take that long. Three days, two days probably for some of you. But I think I gave you the good hint. Check the date. Start with the date. Look for owners. And then think about other things. All right?